I think confidence is the most important thing. It's the most important thing, and I think it's one of the hardest things to attain, you know, because it's not as though we live in a world that fosters our self-confidence. You know, we're consistently bombarded with advertisements day in, day out, that say, hey, you know what, you're not good enough unless you have this, or you're not good enough unless you own this, or you're not good enough unless you look like this. You know, and people start thinking, oh, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're... and they start to believe it, and it's such bullshit, you know, because advertising is such a powerful tool. It'd be so cool if we could use it in a really positive way. You know, just had like giant advertisements that just said like, you're fucking awesome, or like, you're a divine being, or you're whole, just as you are, you know? I'm not comfortable in all situations, so it's weird putting me in front of a room of people and trying to, like, be comfortable, because I'm just, I'm not ever. So it's kind of, I don't know how I'm going to handle it when I'm there. I'm trying not to think about it. I'm trying to be able to sleep. And uh, it's, it's not looking good. I'm putting myself into a situation where I wouldn't be comfortable, aka uh, stand up. And the thing is, it, I'm not funny. And I feel like everyone knows that. And that they're placing me in this situation just so that uh, I'll look like an idiot. I don't think anything can help with my social anxiety at this point, so uh, like maybe I'll just like completely block this out in the future, or I'll talk to my therapist and explain how this didn't help me, how this completely took it in the wrong direction, but uh, it's, I think it could help, like I'm hopeful. I want to show people how how I think on the inside instead of how people see me on the outside, which is not good anyways, so it's, uh, they'll see that I'm bad on the inside and on the out, so that's what I'm looking forward to mostly. <laughs> I don't know when I got social anxiety per se, like when it started. I know that I wasn't this pathetic uh, in grade uh, eight and before, at least I tried to be social. But ever since grade nine, I think it just went straight downhill. And ever since then, I'm, I'm not good at talking in front of people. I overthink too much, I think. I can't text people very well. I can't talk to them without like an idea in the back of my head thinking that I'm bugging them or I'm pestering them or they're talking to me just cause like they feel bad, which is, so high school went really well. Uh, I went to Yuck Yucks a few uh, few days before my show, and I saw a comedian named uh, Adrian Fish. She uh, she was very funny. She had some uh, some jokes that actually kind of applied. She was talking about confidence and stuff, and that's kind of an interesting idea. It's one of the things that I I have a problem with. So it's kind of and she's like up there. So like it's. Mm. I uh, called Adrian Fish, even though I'm terrible on the phone, and uh, she she gave me a little bit of advice, trying to calm me down a bit. Those nerves generally will disappear once you walk on stage. They're your, for me at least, what I was nervous about, you know, you start picturing like the what ifs, right? Yeah. What if I'm not funny? What if no one laughs? What if I blah, 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 and list goes on? And that's what starts to freak you out. Whereas once you're on stage, you're no longer thinking about the what if, you're in it. So you're better able to deal with something when you're experiencing it versus when you're feeling anxious about a future event. I was actually pretty confident until my dad randomly showed up to watch. I didn't think that was gonna happen. So then I started freaking out a lot more because I didn't want to look so pathetic in front of my father. That's exactly why I watch porn with my roommates. <laughs> Way more fun. And if I learned anything from Barney, it's much easier to clean up as a group.
I wanted to do stand-up because it's something I always wanted to do, and I wanted to get out of my comfort zone a little bit because I wanted to try new things and try and be okay. And I, it was an amazing experience, and it was just, uh, it was just great. I was worried that when uh, my classmates would show up that I'd be really embarrassed and that they wouldn't find it funny, but they were actually a huge influence because I kind of screwed up the beginning of it and certain people just kind of boosted me back up and I got, like if they weren't there, I don't know if I actually would have finished it. Yeah, It was one of the best feelings I think I've ever had, so it was, I'm very happy now.